everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. Today I'm going to be doing another episode in my series about using what you have, which I'm really excited about. This one we're going to be focusing on fall, like vibes, aesthetic, all of that. So, um, you know, fall is one of those seasons that I think gets people really kind of excited um, and people get really into it. I also think that happens around the winter holiday season as well, which we'll get to that when we get there. But fall, I think, you know, you can say it's like basic to get excited, but I really do enjoy the change of the season. I live in northern Minnesota where it definitely has been fall for a few weeks now. Um, the air is cooler, it's crisper, the leaves are starting to change. It's just beautiful. So I am going to be talking about some of the things that I'm doing to shop my stash, to use what I have, to still feel um, excited about fall, feel like I am being able to participate without having to spend money on like fall decor, fall makeup, fall clothing, fall anything. I'm going to leave some um, chapters down below of different sections that I'll be talking about in this video if one of them seems like more interesting than the other, that's cool. Um, but we're gonna start with beauty items. So fall beauty is certainly something that I see marketed really heavily, um, especially on you know like Instagram and YouTube, I'm seeing a lot of like fall type videos and, and posts going up. Um, so I decided to shop my stash to pull out some things that really scream fall to me. And for me, there's kind of two categories of makeup at least that really scream fall and that's eyeshadows and lip products. Um, blushes, complexion products, I don't really see a lot of like fall focused items in those categories, but certainly lips and eyes, I see a lot of hubbub about. Some of the eyeshadows that I have kind of designated as fall shadows and fall palettes in my collection. Um, the first one here is from Anastasia. It's the Soft Glam 2. It's like the mini palette. Um, and this just has some really nice warm kind of cranberry tones. Um, certainly the mauve and the orange here are great crease shades. You've got a brown or a more of like a burgundy uh, mulberry shade. I really, really love this palette for travel. I've used this quite a bit. I have pan on a shade in here, but this is a fantastic fall palette. Um, one that I already had, but if you were looking to buy one, I think that this is a great option because it is really versatile for the whole year. But this one just screams fall to me, especially with this bottom row and like the shade Sultry, which really is a nice like medium shimmer shade. I just really am looking forward to getting more use out of this palette. The other one that I um, definitely feel like is pulling fall vibes for me is my ColourPop Bare Necessities palette. You guys know I talk about this palette all the time on my channel, but I really, really love this. If you are a neutral lover, I think that you would like it too because it offers a lot of neutral shades and I have a, um, quite a few of these popped out. I'll show you in a second. But that's the other thing I like about these is that they're all magnetic. So if you just have a safety pin, you can pop these in and out and rearrange them or make a Z palette. It. but there's a lot of kind of like purpley mauve shades over here you've got different browns you've got warmth um so this also screams fall to me so i definitely think i'll be utilizing this a lot now something i'm actually really proud of um i was getting sucked in from color pop again for their um hocus pocus collection which they did a hocus pocus collection last year and they're doing another one this year i'm sure by the time this video goes up it's probably sold out but Fear not, because I was able to dupe it in my collection. So I pulled shades from my Bare Necessities palette, and then I recently purchased the ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette, which is their rainbow palette. I didn't grab it to show you here. But um, I put all the shades into this little Z palette. I had to be kind of creative with how I put these in. This isn't actually in the same order that the palette would be, but I finally was able to get them to all fit, so I'm not gonna mess with it. But um, I'll put a picture of what they're, you know, palette looks like and it was very neutral based and there was a couple pops of orange a couple pops of green and a couple pops of purple which I ended up able to dupe it pretty well um so I'm really loving this so I pulled all these shades out duped it here's my side by side comparison and um now I'm able to use this palette and kind of play with it. Um, I did use kind of the greens today I did like a green and gold look which is fun and a little bit different for me um but yeah, having this kind of made me realize I don't need to buy the fall palettes because there's the, you know, the Too Faced fall palettes. I'm seeing some from like Makeup Revolution and um, other brands, I guess, from the drugstore that are kind of curating fall type vibes. And I feel like I probably already have similar shades in my collection. So 
that's as far as the eyeshadow goes for um, lip products. Like I said, that's where I feel like I also see a lot of pull in the fall months. So I just pulled um, four different lip products that I wanted to talk about here. So the only high-end one I have is this mini from Bite. It's in the shade Chai, which I've heard some other people talk about. Um, this is a fabulous fall shade. It's like a nice deep cranberry type shade, which I think this works really from like September through November. Like this is a great Thanksgiving type shade for me and that's what I associate a lot of cranberries with. Um, but I also have a few others that can kind of pull fall. So this one is from Flower Beauty. It's the Cinnamon Crush um, shade and it's a matte lipstick. And this one is a little bit lighter. Um, so it's right here, but it still definitely pulls that deeper lip shade without being like too vampy if that's not something you're into. I personally don't think that the vampy shades look that great on me, so I kind of steer clear. This one is like if you just want to dabble into a dark, deeper lip, but like you don't want to commit. This is nice. This is from e.l.f. It's the Sheer Slick Lipstick line. I have the shade Black Cherry, but I think online it's actually supposed to be labeled Black Berry. I don't know. Um... So that's just the initial swatch of it there. And I can keep building this to get deeper and deeper, kind of depending on your comfort level. This is also a very comfortable lipstick to wear. So that's a great option as well. And the last one that I have is from um, Makeup Revolution. It's a like stick instead of like a traditional bullet lipstick. And this is in the um, Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon in the shade Chauffeur. I do believe that they make a bullet lipstick in the same shade. It's what I have on my lips today. But this one is definitely like more nude out of them all, but it's still a little bit deeper than I normally would go for. So these are kind of my picks for the fall lipstick scene and it's nice to be able to shop my stash. It's fun to get excited about these products when they have like a designated time to shine in the year. So that's it for makeup. The other thing that I feel like fall beauty really like targets is nail polish and nail colors. So I have this little bag that I kind of curate a capsule nail polish collection with. So I just went through and pulled the shades. I can put a photo up of like all of them flat laid on my desk because I did post that on Instagram. But I'm into like a lot of muted kind of medium to deeper shades. You know, grays, purples, greens, oranges. I feel like the nail game is the other thing that beauty industry really targets in the fall time. And I realized I already have plenty of shades to choose from for all of these different beauty categories. I don't need to be buying anything new. All right, so next I want to talk about clothing and accessories. And this is something I mentioned before, I believe um, in the spring or summertime, but I went through and I started to swap out my closet. So I do put my clothes um, in my closet are the ones that I'm like wearing during that season and then my summer clothes like a lot of my tank tops t-shirts shorts I still have some of them out because the you know weather and fall can be kind of hit and miss but I put quite a few of those away and pulled out my lighter sweaters like this one some long sleeves my cardigans especially so I can layer um, some lighter jackets and that's been making me feel like I have a brand new wardrobe without spending any money so I haven't you know really bought any clothing for fall. Um, I did buy two skirts, but past that I haven't bought any like tops or jeans or boots or anything like that because I already have them. And when I put them away, even though you have to store them in a different place of your home or like in a different area, when I pull them out, it just feels so refreshing and new and I'm excited and I'm invigorated. Um, and I don't feel like it's the same old, same old that I've been staring at in my closet for the past four months already. So that's something that I already have done. The other thing is I pulled out some earrings. So in the fall, I typically go for more like dangly earrings like these. Um, these I got in a pack off of Amazon. I can link them. There's all sorts of different colors. Um, I have some tassel earrings. I have some different like hoop earrings that I'm really loving right now. And I feel like the earrings just kind of help like bring it up a notch. And it's something that kind of makes me feel like I've put more effort into my outfits than I had, you know, without earrings, <laughs> even though it's a small thing, it makes me feel like I'm kind of leveling up. And that also helps me when I look well, you know, this is just some sweater I've had for a few years. It's nothing new to me, but by putting on additional accessories, it helps me just feel like it is new again. All right, so let's talk about home. Um, certainly home decor is big with the fall season. You know, there's lots of pumpkins and leaves and um, all sorts of things to make your home feel cozy. And for me, um, I certainly do decorate, but not like 
a lot. It's pretty minimal for what I do decorate and the things that I have I've had for years now, um, which is really nice to just kind of have a little stash of fall things that I don't have to like go purchase every year. So the first thing that I have is something that I keep out year round. So this is a glass um, apothecary jar that I just changed the filling with. So right now I have these cute little pumpkins with stars on them. I got these from Target like a few years ago, but Target and um, Dollar Tree and, you know, kind of, I'm sure Walmart and Hobby Lobby all have like mini pumpkins like this. Um, and this is one of my favorite ways to decorate my home. So I do have the little string lights through and in the evening time they light up, which makes it feel really cozy. But I just fill out the filling with each season. So I don't have to change out the jar. Um, I usually just have to change the batteries and the lights. But, um, you know, in the summertime, I can put different things in there. In the wintertime, I can put different things in there. So that's been a really nice way for me to decorate and just get a little punch of pumpkin without going crazy. The other thing that I really have enjoyed is a few years ago from Dollar Tree, I got this um, vase filling of these leaves. It has a couple of, you know, picks of like special things in it. But this is like the nice warm fall colors that I really like and enjoy. Um, so I have this base that I already had and used for like, you know, fresh flowers. But these reusable ones, um, again, from the Dollar Tree really work well. And it adds a little bit of color and warmth to my home. I usually keep this on our kitchen island um, as our centerpiece, if you will. Down on our mantle, I do have another kind of thing that could be used as a centerpiece. I probably will put this up on the kitchen island more closer to Thanksgiving time. But um, this I got from TJ Maxx and they also have great fall decor. But this one's really crisp and I can put it out all fall season and it always seems to go well with everything around it. It's not, you know, overly bright or exotic looking. Um, but this is also one that I really like and just adds a little bit of touch to our home. So one of the things that I do actually spend money on in the fall season is I do pick up some fall scented candles. However, you don't have to do that. Um, we have these glass um, candle holders. These are red, which we really like. These candles offer a nice kind of like dim light um, and it does kind of have that red reflection with it, which I think offers a lot of warmth in the home. Um, and that's something that you kind of see a lot when you are looking at mood boards for fall is that really like warm lighting um, and kind of dim lighting. So this is something that we can use year round, but we use them mostly in the fall and winter time as, you know, it just feels the best with, with the lighting and everything. One last note on the decor is I try not to go specifically like Halloween or Thanksgiving. I try to go for like fall, though I do have one um, little glass jack-o'-lantern, which I love because it's glass and I can reuse it every year and not have to do the whole pumpkin thing. Um, and this one I can also just turn around so it's like the jack o lantern faces towards the wall and I have just the pumpkin vibe out and then in the month of October I can turn around and have a little taste of Halloween but I would really try not to do like again Halloween and then Thanksgiving I'm trying to go for like harvest or like autumn in general because that way I can I can keep using the same items and I don't feel like okay, well, I have to put these away because I need to put this out. That's really been helping me too. All right, the last topic for today's fall, use what you have, it has to do with the kitchen and our food that we're preparing and how I'm really leaning into the fall vibe. So first of all, I feel like this can go year round, but I especially am pulling more towards like hot coffee again. In the summertime, I usually drink cold coffee, um, but for warmer coffee, I have a couple of different mugs that I prefer to use. Um, but one of them is this glass mug. This actually was the packaging of a jelly container that I bought from my grocery store to use with PBJs and like jelly on um, toast and all that. So I cleaned it out when I was done with it. And I have this beautiful glass mug now, which is total like vibes if you ask me. So this is one of my favorite things. And I'm really thrilled that I was able to upcycle the packaging of something I ordinarily would have bought anyway, the jelly into a mug that I, lives in my home forever. So as far as food is concerned, we are also transitioning off of like lighter, cooler types of meals into warmer meals again. Um, again, the summertime when it's so hot, we don't always want to use the oven because it's just too hot in the house and my body doesn't always want that. But now that it's cooling off and the air is crisp, I'm definitely into like warmer, more rustic meals. 
So I spent some time just Googling, you know, fall meals or fall themed meals. Um, and what I noticed was a commonality between a lot of them were the types of vegetables and fruits that were in season already. So, you know, you see a lot of apples and a lot of squashes and root vegetables ready to go in the fall. Um, and they're a lot cheaper in your grocery store probably because there's such an abundance of them because they are in season. So I've really been leaning into that. I'm using my crock pot quite a bit too because it's just nice to not have to cook every meal. Um, but lots of like stews and roasted chickens. And um, we just did a pork chop, a stuffed pork chop recipe that was so good. It was goat cheese, cranberries, and sliced almonds in the filling in the middle. Wow. I'll link some recipes down below, but that's something else that helps me feel like I'm getting the fall experience without spending, you know, money on decor or like single season items um, because I'm able to just incorporate these into our meal plan. Like we're going to be buying groceries anyway, so I can incorporate more fall vibes in that way um, to still feel like I'm, you know, experiencing it without being left out. I think that's the biggest thing is like, how can I experience the fall aesthetic and get excited about it without spending unneeded money. So those are just some of the things that I've been doing to feel and embrace the fall time without spending money. I would love to hear from you guys how you are doing this or how you're incorporating your normal spending like your grocery spending into more fall themed things. I definitely think I'll be making some apple crisp soon. I make that in the crock pot and it is delicious. Definitely um, an easy way to go through a bag of apples. And I'm also looking forward to trying out some of the recipes that I haven't tried yet. But like I said, I will link some of them down below, some of these products down below. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I'd love to hear from you what your favorite kind of fall themed items are and how you incorporate those into your life. So that's going to be it for me. I really appreciate you guys hanging out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.